Hey guys, today I got a little fun project. I'm gonna show you how to etch aluminum with a nine volt battery, some salt and some vinegar. And using my Cricut machine, I will put a logo into an aluminum sword that I made for some uh, stunt performers. And uh, let's get started. I started with this logo that I found online, which is your typical pirate logo. Then I wanted to add some Latin to it. So I added this Latin phrase meaning balance in the air. After doing the first cut, I realized that I cannot cut that fine of detail with the text, so I decided to leave the text out. Also, I wanted to change the design a little bit. So I isolated the sword to be able to use the sword to make the letter M for Murcia. Murcia is the last name of the uh, client uh, whose family is involved in this uh, stunt performance show that they use these swords with. Here we have a completed cut template for the sticker to be cut out. And I'm gonna be putting this on one of the blades here. I'm gonna etch it into that aluminum right there. So that I can visualize where I'm sticking it onto the aluminum, I went ahead and peeled off a couple of pieces that I know are going to be exposed. The eyes and the nose started to come off, um, but what I'm using as transfer tape is just packing tape that I've stuck on my shirt and picked up some lint to make it less sticky so that it won't adhere to the vinyl um, that it's picking up, but just enough to where I can still peel it off. You can also use masking tape for this job. There you have it. The first and hardest part is done with uh, sticking it down, lining it up. Now I'm going to take off the tape and let's do what's called weeding out the uh, a vinyl that I want to expose where the metal is. This is always so satisfying going. Alright, so now we have exposed metal where I want my logo to be. Now I'm going to etch that metal using the battery and the acid technique, my mild acid technique. I've got a little bit of white distilled vinegar, a glass jar with um, about uh, half a teaspoon of uh, salt, just table salt, and just enough vinegar to put in here to make my own little acid etching solution. And here are my materials that I needed. Got a piece of scrap wire that's got a red and a black wire that I can know the difference between the two. It doesn't matter, you can actually use the same color wire. I got some paper, piece of paper towel. This is what's going to soak up my vinegar solution. And then 9 volt battery. And then my sticker ready to go. So let's get started etching. So the next step I did was I stripped the black wire and taped one side of the wire onto the blade. And then with the, the red wire, took a piece of the paper towel and I'm going to wrap it inside the paper towel, this extra stripped wire, so that it gets really good contact with the solution that soaks into the paper towel. And I just do it like this so that um, I have a little handle and it's stiff and I can use it. an end to dip into the acid and then hang onto it without getting my hands all in the, in the vinegar. And then the other ends, I will tape onto the right um, positive and negative leads onto the battery so that I don't have to really worry about holding it. There you go, the wires are all taped up. You're going to want to put the positive wire directly to the item that you're going to etch and the negative wire uh, to the lead that has the sponge where you're picking up the acid. There you go, I dipped it in the solution, and as you can see, the metal begins to discolor. So where I hit the forehead, the metal begins to discolor, and that is etching it. I'm gonna continue to do this. I'm using my other hand to make sure that the uh, the leads are connected to the battery, so that's why I can't do this while filming. But, as you can see, it's cutting away. Uh, it also gives off a fume, so don't bring it, breathe in the fumes. Make sure you use a well-ventilated area. 
I found by tilting it upward, I can actually let the, the acid pool onto the, the top of it and puddle up. And I can just simply brush away the top. This is gonna get a nice deep etching versus letting it flow down and drip off. But you can tell it's working. You can hear a little sizzle, a pop sizzle, and you can see it bubbling on the top of the sponge area. This will be nice and deep. And this is taking about five minutes or so. Um, but if it's a high polished area, a high contrast area, it's it's not gonna, it doesn't take that long. It doesn't need to take that long. This is gonna be kind of beat up, so I want it to really stand out. And then done. The battery's a little bit hot. <laughs> That's what happens. I'm gonna clean this off and I'll reveal the itching. What's nice about this particular project is I'm not gonna add any kind of paint into the into the eaten away area. I'm just gonna remove the vinyl and let this be natural, like a natural etching. And uh, this can pick up dirt or whatever. If you wanted to make its contrast even more, you can add your own um, paints or whatever. But as you can see, I'm removing the vinyl eyes. It's gonna be a nice contrast. Let's see if I can get my fingernail underneath this and peel this sticker off while I'm filming. some steel wool and maybe even it out a little bit but there you go and all you need is a 9 volt battery some household salt and vinegar and um, some scrap wire and um, you know the sky's the limit with whatever you want to be creative with with etching into metal that's how you etch aluminum and you don't have to worry about dangerous uh, hydrochloric acid or ferric chloride acid or anything like that it's just standard 